The body has been positively identified. Uh, that was from the coroner over the weekend. This ends a mystery that began uh, about a year and a half ago when Bo went missing. But we still don't know if a crime is committed or what the cause of death was. Those are being investigated by the Santa Monica Police and the county the court. chapter in this ongoing mystery began behind this abandoned Santa Monica Boulevard building some two weeks ago when skeletal remains were found in a courtyard. Just Monday, the coroner revealed the remains were positively identified as Bo Man through the use of dental records, the cause of death under investigation. Not what I hello, hello. We are going to be looking into the death of Bo Man. He was a tech CEO. Um, essentially, he texted 911 while he was in the car some they say gibberish um then 911 responded but Bo never responded and no one ever followed up on it um he was in an uber or a shared ride service of some kind he was heading home and then switched his route to a different route that nobody knows why his fiance doesn't know why he would be in that area there's no one in that area that has claimed to know him but anyway, text 911, then the stop that he was getting off at changed. He got off there, went missing for a period of time. How long was he missing for? Um, it was a bit, like it was a little while. November 30th. And so he, this happened on November 30th that he went missing and he was, his remains were just found a couple days ago, so a while, um, by a homeless person less than a mile from the stop that he got off at. I don't know if they're calling this suspicious, but I'm calling it suspicious because it's suspicious. Um, he did used to have substance abuse issues. He actually founded a whole company to help people who are trying to stay sober connect with other sober people in the area through this app that he created that he was the tech CEO of. Um, they, it seems, are trying to spread the message that he did this to himself or that he fell back into his addiction. His fiance is saying that's not the case. Um, his skeletal remains were discovered in an abandoned apartment building in Santa Monica, California. So um, we're going to look into this. The company that he founded is called Sober Grid. Um, he left his Los Angeles office around 2 p.m. and went to a nearby convenience store. He is seen on the CCTV in the convenience store. He then called an Uber and took a ride to a neighborhood in Santa Monica. Um, which his fiance saw on the account that they shared. While in the car, he texted 911, but police said they failed to get in touch with him after they say he sent a quote unquote gibberish, gibberish message and then stopped responding. So yeah, 18, oh, 18 months. What? Oh, this was not this past November. It was the no November before. Around 18 months later, the CEO's remains were discovered by a homeless man just a thousand feet from where he was dropped off. Hmm. His partner fears that he was murdered. Um, it is an abandoned building that he was found outside of. Okay, so... Um, Oh, his fiance said that even if he did relapse, the drugs he used to do were difficult to overdose on unless they were laced. And he would always end up seeking treatment, at least 30 days of treatment. Um, the Santa Monica police said they're looking into all possibilities. Oh wait, hold on, one more important thing. So his fiance says that the day before he went missing, he told him that he loved him and wanted to adopt children with him, which was the day before. The two were in a long distance relationship while Abate was still living in Michigan. Okay. 
Um, he had just returned home from a trip to Texas to see his family for Thanksgiving. His fiance couldn't attend as he was staying in Miss Michigan with his ill mother. Um, okay. So I want to start looking into this with what happened in the car. But first, I just want to check into his general energy and how he was feeling that day. So we're going to start there. This is an energy reading. It is all alleged my opinion, not facts, my opinion. And the goal is to help. Um, so let's look into he's 39. I don't know if I said that, but he's 39 years old. Um, so let's look into Bo's general energy before getting into the car. Hermit, the Hierophant reversed, the world, the moon, I cannot talk. Why can I not talk? Hold on a second, that felt important. Five of cups reversed. Uh, so, okay, I'm gonna tell you this for full transparency. I discovered this um on friday or thursday friday but i wanted to take the weekend off because i already told myself i was gonna take the weekend off and i really wanted to do this reading so my mind was thinking about it all weekend so i feel like i was kind of channeling certain things because i kept going back to thinking about it and almost coming in and doing the reading and then i was like no i need to give myself a break saying not to say this what i kept feeling like is that this was some kind of setup like that's just generally the energy that I was getting back. I was thinking and sending those thoughts out. And then when I was getting back is like, it felt like um, I made a small mistake and then there was a setup. And right away with these, this is like a difference of opinion about something that was being hidden. Um, and then I couldn't talk and I said, I can't talk. And I got the five of cups reversed. So this is like, I'm trying to forgive myself for a small mistake. Let's see what the other card that comes out is. The full reversed. I do think that he slipped back into something. Um, but I also don't believe that that's why he passed away. Um, I, I like, I believe that he slipped back into a bad habit because he was having a hard time and that was his, let me just get through this moment um, and then I'll get back on track after that. It seems like that, especially because he said that he, um, his fiance admitted that he was kind of having a hard time. Where was that? The heartbroken fiance opened up about man's mental health leading up to a disappearance and admitted that he could have relapsed. He wasn't doing well if you want the truth, he told the son. He had just returned from a trip to Texas to see his family for Thanksgiving. So what this looks like to me is that that trip brought up a lot of feelings for him and he wanted to suppress them so he could continue on as normal upon returning back um, to the his home area. Um, it looks like a lot of feelings rose to the surface. I was having trouble dealing with them. I slipped back into the one way that I knew how to deal with them so that I could suppress them enough to continue as normal and then get things back on track. It's like almost like, um, like a, what's that called? a tsunami of emotions, like psh, hit him, tsunami hits him, boom. And then in his mind he's like i know how to suppress this so i can get back on track so i'm going to do that real quick and then get back on track um five of cups reverse because I, I was having trouble talking and then i was like that feels important and that's when i pulled this so it's like i know i shouldn't be doing this i know i'm gonna regret it after but i cannot deal with this tsunami of feelings that has been brought up that's what i'm seeing so far all right, so now that we know that, let's look into he gets in the car and what happens. We're gonna do two rows of three. So he's in a convenience store. He gets, um, I think he got ice. Like he got stuff that like, 
I don't know, you want me walking around with, bag of ice. Um, but let's see, he leaves the convenience store and gets in the Uber and what happens? I would like one card to represent the 911 call like directly, like where we can look and say, okay, this is when he called 911 and this is what happened after. Two rows of four. Magician, so that would be um, summoning for the, for the Uber, like on your phone. Um, the lovers reversed, the tower reversed, Page of Pentacles. Summons it. The lovers in reverse is the bad decision. The tower in. Okay. So this is him summoning. I don't know what you call it. Calling for the Uber. I don't know why I'm saying summoning, but like signing up for the uber to come get him this would be um against my better judgment i'm going to make this decision because again there's this tsunami i need to get through to the other side of the tsunami so i can continue things as normal so i need to suppress these emotions because they're too big to deal with because i've been triggered and the only way that i really know how to deal with this trigger is what i've always done these emotions i need to suppress them so i can continue on as normal um this is, I feel like these emotions are going to crush me if I don't find a way to deal with them. So I have to do this. And then the page of pentacles would be um, the offer or like the, hey, can I get this or come pick this up or something like that. But I'm still not seeing the 911 call. The empress reversed. That might be the 911 call because it's underneath of the magician. Oh, the Ace of Wands reverse. That's the 911 call. I make a bad decision and then I realize it's a bad decision. Page of Pentacles would be I reach out to someone. I summon the Uber. I decide in my mind that I'm going to do something so I don't have to face these big emotions. I reach out to someone. Um... Yeah, because the Empress reversed is like, I need you right now. I reach out to you because I need something from you. Because I need to suppress, block these feelings, push them down. The Ace of Wands reversed, this is the 911 call. Ace of Cups, Four of Wands. 911 call, I get what I want at someone's house. But why would he call 911 before that? Doesn't make any sense. What it looks like to me is I get the Uber. Oh, so maybe this isn't getting in the Uber. That's why it doesn't make sense. This is when I send the message to whomever. I send the message, a decision that I know I shouldn't make, but I feel like I have to make it. If this is the message to the person, boom, boom, this could be the message to 911. You know what this feels like to me? It feels like I go back into my old habits. I get this weird vibe from the driver. Like I, I'm, I, 
I reach out to someone from my old life because I have to get something from them because the tsunami of emotions, I have to deal with it. I have to suppress it. I only know the one way. I reach out to someone from my past. It's like I'm in the car and I know I'm not making the best decision. So I start to get really paranoid thinking that like, the driver is working with this other person. Like there's some like paranoid thoughts that come in. Oh. So I'm paranoid. So I text 911 because I think there's gonna be a problem when I get out of this car because I'm paranoid. I think that this person is working with whoever I just texted or was texting before I got in the car. Maybe not text, maybe like some other form of communication. Um. <clears throat> So I summon, I text, I text 911, I'm paranoid. I think there's gonna be a problem when I get out of the car because I think that he's work, the driver's working with this person, but the driver ends up letting me get out of the car. So I don't respond to 911. I go to wherever it was that I was going to meet up with this person at, but I'm already paranoid because I was just paranoid at the car and the person that I'm meeting up with is picking up on this paranoid energy. And it's like, I haven't seen you in a while and you're showing up here paranoid. What's going on? Because I go to someone's house, maybe not house, but like I go to someone, like someone told me to meet them somewhere and I go there. I do one more row of four, five of wands reverse and the hermit reverse. Five of Wands is under the Magician and Empress Reverse. Hermit Reverse. He reached out to someone that he had, oh, Ace of Wands Reverse. Lovers Reverse, Ace of Wands Reverse. And then the hermit reversed. He reached out to someone from his past that used to give him stuff because he needed to calm the wave of emotions. I reach out to someone from my past, but I haven't talked to this person in a really long time. So they're like, uh, I'll meet you here because they're like, why is this a setup? Like what's going on? You have this company. Are you working with the police or something? Are you trying to set me up? He gets paranoid in the car, texts police thinking that this person is not going to actually let him out of the car because he had already talked to that connect from the past. Then the person does let him out of the car so he doesn't respond to police, but he's still paranoid and jitty, jittery. So when he meets up with this person from the past, they're like, what's going on? Like, I haven't seen you in forever. You're showing up here, looking around, you're all paranoid, your energy's off. Like. I was already suspicious and now I'm just like, something's going on with you. Um, and that's where the setup seems to come in. It does seem like they didn't let him go right away. Like it seems like, what I'm seeing in my head is him meeting up with someone in like a big empty room, which he was outside of an abandoned building. So I don't know if it's there or if it was somewhere else, but it's like, I don't really fully trust you. I haven't talked to you in forever. I got to meet you somewhere that's not going to lead right back to me if you are with police or something like that. Um, so I meet you in this place. The hermit's reverse. I meet you somewhere secluded. And the hermit in reverse is also like repeating bad decisions or repeating mistakes that you've made in the past and then the five of wands reverse can be like a hostile environment well five upright is more hostile five in reverse is more like 
trying to make it not hostile. So it's like, let me meet you somewhere neutral so you can repeat a past mistake. So I have two more cards to pull in this series and I feel like what they're about to point to is someone was suspicious of him potentially being a rat or like you haven't done drugs in so long you hit me up out of nowhere you show up all paranoid you must be trying to flip on me for some reason so i'm gonna get you to od that's what this looks like and then the heat is on because everyone's looking for you so i don't put your body where it can be found right away two of cups someone he knew someone from his past someone he had a connection with and that is underneath of ace of cups so it's like this is the person that i get stuff from in the past and the tower is reversed so this is like the um I'm going to this person to get what I used to get in the past because I'm trying to avoid succumbing to my bad thoughts or my, my tsunami of emotions. So then we have Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands. So this is like somebody giving me what I asked for in a location. Eight of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Cups is like trying to find the truth of a situation. It's like he asks for something to take with him, but someone's like, no, 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 you can only do it if you stay here. And then ODs him. Because they thought he was a rat. It's almost like if if he shows up and somebody gives him extra or gives him something else other than what he's actually asking for um so that he can get really messed up and then they can like check him for a wire or something like that like some kind of situation like that is what i'm seeing um but there was no wire he wasn't he it, that's not what was going on he just had um an emotional crisis that was triggered through things being brought to the surface that he may not have been all the way ready to deal with. Um, okay, so now, hold on, actually first. What is the energy of the person that he met up with? What's that person's energy before he text? Mm. What's that person's energy when they got a text from him? And what's that person's energy when they met up with Bo? In reverse, Arthur, the champion of Avalon, companionship, nobility, and self-realization but it was in reverse. We used to have a bond and we don't anymore. So why are you hitting me up for this? I'm suspicious right off the bat. Nobility, but it's in reverse. So it's like, you create this company that's anti-drug, why are you hitting me up for drugs? There must be something going on here. And self-realization in reverse is like, you think I'm not gonna notice that this is out of nowhere and weird? Um, their energy when they met up with Bo. Triumph of lies. I don't believe you. I'm suspicious. I think you're lying. I think you're setting me up. It doesn't make sense that you're here. It's a, um, a skeleton with a crown on it. So it's like you're this big CEO tech guy now. Why are you doing this? This doesn't make sense. You must be on to something. You must be trying to set me up. And that one was upright. All right. So he gets to the, what seems in my mind, like a warehouse. Oh, 
assumption is these two. What's the main negative energy coming from the other person? Greed. You are too attached to things in an excessive way. Nothing good comes out of it. It's a dealer. This is a dealer who had too much to lose to take a chance on. Is this guy trying to set me up? I can't even wait around to find out. I can lose everything. Um, let's see what we can get about where they met up. Communication with a typewriter. Typewriter makes me think past communication. I have typewriter is like a very old form of what is now a computer. So it's like, this is someone that I used to talk to about this kind of stuff way, way, way back, but I haven't talked to them in ages. And the paper on the typewriter is blank. So it's like, I feel like we're getting a fresh start because I haven't talked to you in so long, but it just doesn't make sense that you're reaching out in this way. Accomplice, partner in crime. Maybe his fiance would know. Maybe someone close to him would know. This does seem like someone who, when he was in the height of his addiction, this is someone who played a role back then that he met up with again. Happy in reverse, and it's on the street. They lured him into a building. This wasn't like, okay, let me pass you on the street. I'll hand it to you. This was like, you need to come in the building so we can sit and talk. I can't just give this to you and let you walk away. Something's weird. Debt, organized crime, and party. Did he? Oh. Maybe somebody felt like he still owed them something. And it's like, you have the audacity to reach out to me to get something when you still owe me from the past. And we haven't talked in so long. And we used to be partners but you screwed me over in some way and I'm not happy about it and I have to report back to everybody else what happened here with some kind of substance party this card makes me feel like it's a confirmation of how I said it's like they lure him in and then give him too much or give him something else because they want um almost like a truth serum effect where they're like, if we get you messed up enough real quick because you haven't done this in so long, you say, you'll tell me the truth about what's going on here. But it, it went, I don't know if the intention was for it to go wrong or the intention was to just get him to talk and then it went wrong, but Democrat in reverse. Yeah, it's like opposing sides. Like we used to work together, now we don't work together, but you wanna come back in and get something from me, why? Um, all right, so he goes to, there's like hair everywhere. Um, he goes to the warehouse or whatever it is. What happens? Two rows of four. Seven of pentacles reversed. The plan was not to let him leave. Judgment. It's weird. It's almost like now that I'm, oh, six of wands reverse, three of cups reverse. It's almost like now that I'm able to get you close enough. Um, was that seven of swords? It was seven of swords in reverse, 10 of wands. So it was six of wands and then seven of swords reverse, 10 of wands. Seven of pentacles reversed, seven of swords upright. The plan was not to let him leave. It's almost like he texted or reached out to someone before going in the convenience store, was getting stuff that he needed for after he met up with this person. The plan was to go meet up with the person and go home, but then the person changed the plans because they had to have him meet somewhere that's a central location that they could bore him away because the plan was to try and see what was going on because there was a lack of trust there. Um, Six of Wands reverse, Three of Cups reverse. I have to get you in private because we're not on the same team. I have some kind of ulterior motive. I have to get you alone. Seven of Swords reverse, Ten of Wands. I betray you. Um, 
Ten of Wands reversed is underneath of judgment. So I feel like because I was so quick to question your loyalty or question if you would do something like this, I want to make sure that that's still not on the table. So obviously I, me as in the person who bored him, um, when you texted and reached out, my first thought was, am I being set up? That's never going to go away. So you need to go away because I feel like I can never trust you. Um, and then 10 of wands reversed. I'm wondering if there is another person who's involved here. Or that could just be, no, that's not another person. Judgment in reverse, 10 of wands reversed. That's, that's your liability and I feel like I can never trust you. Especially if you're putting on this one face of helping people, but then you're still partaking in this, it makes me feel like you'll turn on me if you need to. Not, not, that's not my thoughts. That's this person's thoughts. The person that lured him. Nine of cups. So they got what they wanted by getting him in private. Yeah. The goal was I need to get you in private and then I'm going to, OD you because I can't trust you. Eight of Pentacles. Because I worked too hard to create this for myself. And I feel like at any turn, you could take it from me. Um, yeah, that's what this looks like to me. Um, let me... Let's see. What was Bo's soul lesson from this happening? The law of non-attachment. Let go, release, and allow miracles. Non-attachment. Um, how I said that it was this emotional tsunami and he was like, I only know one way to really get past this. His soul lesson was to learn there's more ways but you have to fight against the way that your brain automatically wants to go and heal because that's actually not good for you so it's like detach yourself from what wasn't working for you in the past um and it's interesting because i almost feel like this was a test that in a weird way he was passing be and I know that sounds backwards because he was reaching out to go to get narcotics, I believe. Um, so it doesn't look like he was passing it per se. But what I mean by that is he was making a bad decision. But I think for the first time he was recognizing how bad of a decision it was. Maybe not for the first time, but like it's weird because I'm getting this energy that like this was the last time this was going to happen, but it just, he got set up in a weird way. Like, and I almost feel like part of it was like, um, I don't want to go back to that life because I expect something like this to happen. If I were going to like, there's some weird, not that he saw it coming, but in the car, I believe that that was paranoia. Like, because I know that I'm going to do something bad right now, I'm paranoid. And then I realized that that paranoia wasn't part of it because the Uber driver lets me get out of the car with no problems. So now as I'm walking to meet up with this person, I'm realizing I can't keep doing this. This isn't how I want to live. Yeah, I already signed up to do it now, which is part of the reason why he was so paranoid when he met up with the person and why they were so freaked out. Um, this seems like... murder um but um one that stemmed from a misunderstanding because someone thought they were being set up by Bo and they were not and the energy that they were picking up on that made them feel oh this guy's setting me up or this guy's going to tell on me or this guy is on some weird plan here what they were really picking up on was him realizing I can't do this again I don't want to go back down this route I need it right now, but this is going to be the last time. 
So 18 months missing. What was going on during that time? Like what? Page of Cups, High Priestess. It feels like he was there for a while. Maybe not the whole 18 months, but this is like, we keep you in a location and then when, when the time feels right, we just dump you. Justice upright on the floor. Six of swords reversed. Yeah, this would be, um, how I said, we keep you in a location and then we dump you. Um, the Six of Swords reverse would be about when he's kept in the location and then Justice Upright is when he's finally found. Um, so it seems as though his body's kept where he ODs for a period of time and then he's moved. Um, I do think it's highly likely that in the autopsy it will be an OD. But two things about that. One, I believe that there either he took some and someone gave him more after that, or it was stronger than what it was being represented to be, or it was something different than what it was represented to be. Um, the, um, and two, I do believe that his body was moved. Um, I don't believe that the location he found was the location he passed away in and that in and of itself should be, hey, there's something suspicious because who moves a dead body and just doesn't tell anybody about it, right? So, um, something, something going on with that as well. Um... What can we know about the person who did this? I want the first character card that's gonna come up to describe them. Knight of Swords, and before it is Strength. So it's kind of a blitz attack, and after is Ten of Pentacles. So they're definitely, this is someone from his past that he was connected with, that he had reached out to again, um, and knight of swords this person thought that Bo was going to use what he knew against the person strength makes me feel like this person is very high up in like if they're a dealer or whatever they're like it's not like Bo hit up one of the people who run something for this person it's like he hit up the head honcho and the head honcho was like this doesn't make sense um and Ten of Pentacles does make me feel as though this person is part of something that protects them. Um, they have people looking out for them. And this was their opportunity to kind of look out for themselves because they thought something was off with how he was reaching out after all this time. Let's try to see what we get with these. I'm going to put two of these. There was a motive for committing the crime and look it's money on the shelves and like a, a robber person hunched down behind it it's like i need to protect what i have i need to make sure that you don't make it so i can't make money killer worked in the area in the area where he was found that was not his home and that is where his body was later found, where he got off at the Uber. Hold on. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Um, obviously my allergies are still bothering me, sorry. Um, yeah, killer works in the area. And I said, uh, and I, like an abandoned house, and this is kind of like a factory. So I'm, he's lured somewhere that's abandoned 
made to OD, left there for a while, and then body dumped. That's what I'm getting. By someone that um, is part of his past in some way. Um, and a pull two for Bo, two for the other person, and two for the energy between them. First Bo. Pressure cooker, rage and ready to explode in a match. Yeah, he was triggered. A lot of things rose to the surface all at once. And he was like, I, and this isn't to blame like the trip. Home. Poison. It's not to blame the trip home to his family. It's just to say that the emotions that were stirred up were triggering for him and that doesn't mean that anything negative happened it just means the emotions were stirred up it's like when you run around a swimming pool and the bottom of the pool comes to the middle and the top as the water flows it's it's just kind of like that poison yeah there's going to be drugs in his system but it's not the way that he intended it to go down it's not like he intended to get a little bit of something or a medium bit of something take it and then recover because he was already mad at himself for doing it in the first place but felt like he needed it what is going to be found in his system is far in excess of what he was planning on taking it might not even be the exact stuff he was planning on taking like he may have been trying to reach out for something even less than what he did in the past like um drug a he might have been going for drug b or drug c that's less strong and maybe that's part of the reason the person was like this doesn't make any sense but there's going to be more in his system than what he put in his system or than what he intended to put in his system. Um, the other person. Receipts. Proof. Show me. I said they thought that he was spot. A rat or trying to get dirt on them proof show me show me you're not wearing a wire prove it to me and you can't take these drugs home you have to do them right if you want to do them you have to do them right here show me the wire okay no wire I'm not giving you this to take home you're doing it right here searching online looking for info records and the person's blindfolded you think i don't see what you're doing i know you're setting me up let me see your phone i'm gonna look through your phone let me take your shirt off let me see there's no wire okay you're gonna do the drugs here you're not gonna be able to take them home because i don't trust you but let me look through your phone anyway i don't i think you're setting me up i don't trust you energy between Financial support, money, handcuffs, a gavel. This person was like, you could send me to prison and I could lose all, everything that I worked for. I could lose my ability to make money. You could mess up everything for me. Financial support, I also said, this is someone that he knew from his past, that was part of his past. Um, Meeting in reverse, two or more people discussing and planning, but it was in reverse. So I don't think it's two or more people. I think it's the other person and Bo. There may have been a third party that was involved. Like, hey, I'm going to leave him here. You go back later and move him when it's time because I got my hands dirty enough. But meeting in reverse is a meeting that went wrong. Um... On the off chance that his fiance happens to come across this video, what would Bo like to say to him? Let's do three cards here. I'm not dead. I'm alive in everything, constantly flowing energy. So if you are his fiance, he is saying he's still with you, um, especially right now for comfort. He's probably sending you a lot of signs. Happiness lies within the memories we have created. Never forget. You know, it's interesting. Um, Bo is a man. His fiance is a man. So obviously he is 
gay. So this is um, a rainbow bridge, but it's not lit up as rainbow colors. And then this one is. So I feel like this is definitely him like, hey, this is my message for you. Um, we are soulmates and will always be connected. And it's, look, they're all the sky too. And all of these aren't the sky. It's not just a deck full of the sky. Of course, that's the sky and that's the sky. They're not all the sky is what I'm saying. Um, so what he is saying to his fiance is that I'm not dead. I'm still with you. Think of the happy memories that you created and we are soulmates. So that's a very nice little message. Um, I feel like there's one more thing that I want to do, but I don't know what it is. All right, let's just wrap it up with three cards from Bo about what we talked about today. It can either be an additional piece of information, a confirmation, a message, whatever. I'm going to do three cards. Queen of Wands. Is this a female? Because what other card did I get that I was like, I wonder if it's Page of Cups and High Priestess. I don't think it was that though. Ten of Cups. A Knight of Pentacles reversed. So someone that I was really, really close to during a certain period of my life that I was likely seen in public with or people knew that I was connected to this person. I thought I could trust them, but they cannot be trusted. So um, if you're someone who knows him or is looking into this, I would say to see if there's anyone who has any connections to that area where he got off at the uber and where his body was later found if anyone from his past that he's known to have a past with in terms of when he was active in his addiction it seems as though someone from that area bored him there and then od'd him because they were scared that he would flip on them because he had contacted them after a long time of not contacting them that's what I'm getting. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Remember, this is all alleged my opinion. Have a good day.